What is happening fellow Cobras, welcome back to the channel. Terry Silver's dominance was on full display for all to see in Cobra Kai Season 5. There were moments where I really couldn't see anyone taking him down, and that's why the season finale shocked me so much. Mostly because, well, Terry was looking unbeatable. But there is a particular moment in the season that's really been stirring up a lot of interesting discussions amongst the fandom. But the theory is that the reason that Terry Silver just so happened to be at the hospital at the same time as Johnny and Carmen is that Terry is terminally ill. Shout out to my friend Cobra Kai Theory and Manuel Garcia in his comment section as this is where this theory first started. When I first heard of this whole speculation of Terry Silver possibly being sick, I was of course skeptical to believe it. Skeptical but very curious, I just needed a little more context as to why people think that. So Terry of course just so happens to be at the same hospital as Carmen and Johnny at the same time that they were at the checkup for their unborn child. But the big question here is why is Terry there? I definitely don't think this was planned because Silver actually looks rather surprised to see Johnny there. It is possible that he was just there for a checkup, but what Silver actually says in this scene is what makes me think it wasn't just a checkup. I really think it was something a whole lot bigger. Everything I do is for the future, theirs and mine. So savor every moment before it's gone. Everything he does is for the future. Silver is always looking for what's next and tells Johnny to savor every moment before it's gone. That right there at least tells me that Silver knows he doesn't have much time left and that's why he's in such a pursuit to expand Cobra Kai right now and make it go global. And that's exactly why he brought in Sensei Kim and the other senseis, not just because he needs help, but so they can carry on Cobra Kai once he's gone. If you look at it this way, this season has been all about legacy, at least on the Cobra Kai side, and Silver mentions this numerous times about how important it is to him because he never had any real kids of his own. And he specifically reveals this when talking to Chosen about what his true plans are for expanding. Cobra Kai is his baby now that Kreese is out of the way. With what little time Terry potentially has left on this earth, he wants to make the most of it so he can leave his mark on the world, and so that someone he sees as worthy can carry on the legacy that he's built for Cobra Kai along with the Kim family. Cobra Kai Theory brings up a lot of great points in his video, if you haven't seen it yet you should definitely check it out after we're done here, but he brings up a point back in early season 4, right when Silver is having his PTSD with his chef using the mini torch to sear his creme brulee breakfast. He instantly decides that he isn't hungry and wants to skip breakfast, and that's not usually an unusual thing to do. Lots of people around the world don't eat breakfast, but his chef insists to Terry that he should call the doctor, which is a little bit out of the ordinary. So this really begs me to question that is Terry's health being closely monitored for the illness he's suffering from? That very well could be. Also in season 4, there's multiple shots that show Terry is on medication. We don't exactly know what it's for. It could be for PTSD, but if so, clearly they aren't working because it's easily triggered just from Kreese showing up out of the blue while he's currently taking them. But perhaps they're a form of treatment that helped manage his illness along with the occasional and frequent trips to the hospital which would explain his run in with Johnny and Carmen. But guys, enough about me, I want to hear what you guys think down below in the comment section. Be sure to let me know if you think Terry Silver is suffering from some sort of illness that could really affect his will to live. You know what to do next, if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave this video a like so it can get pushed out to more and more people throughout the community and make sure you subscribe to Strike First Media as I got an abundance of videos coming covering season 5 and season 6 theories that you're not not gonna want to miss. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.